experience him in the flesh when he headlines the Face Jazz Bop Tour, his first gig in London. John Patton, uh, Blue Note Hammond organist, big record label in New York in the early 60s. Um, played with just about everyone. Um, a peer of Jimmy Smith, um, he, he got into it through Jimmy Smith's material. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, the greatest Hammond organist in the world. The dancers, the wonderful Backstreet Kids, um, dancing with John Patton. Fast, uh, you know, freestyle, very, very exciting to watch. The big sound of the Hammond organ was heard only in gospel music or on TV game shows. It went through a particularly voguish moment. Jimmy Smith was famous for his jazz recordings on the label, and Jimmy McGriff was the leading light in the soul and R&B field. But it was John Patton who combined the two and used the organ to produce what was then a unique jazz and R&B fusion. In America, Patton's star has fallen, but in Britain, his distinctively 60s sound is the latest beneficiary of the jazz revival. His newfound fashionability is confirmed by a sellout tour sponsored by The Face. He's here in the studio now to perform a revived John Patton classic. <laughs> Thank you. 